Hi, my name is Chris, and here's a quick tutorial video on how to get the most out of your device. So upon plugging in your device, you will have to pair your remote. And you can do this by pressing and holding the home button for 20 to 30 seconds until you see a message that shows up like this, saying new remote connected. And now you're going to have to register um, if you already have an Amazon account or sign in. But first, uh, make sure you select your Wi-Fi network. So go ahead and select your Wi-Fi network and put in the password. Okay, and once that's done, you can go ahead and sign in with your Amazon account or create one. They're totally free, so let me put in my account information right now. And once you do that, you'll register. Once again, it's totally free if you don't have an account. Okay, you'll just see a message like this, just hit, go ahead and hit continue. Okay, here's the home screen of the Fire Stick. So, basically everything on the screen is kind of all the stuff that you would normally pay for. And we don't recommend that you select anything from here because it is charged content. But... It's a nice interface, and you can go ahead and look through that. You get some free stuff if you're an Amazon Prime account holder. Okay, so I'm going to hold and press that home button for a few seconds until I see a few menus that look like this. Now I'm going to select apps. Right here are all the jailbroken apps. This is all the ones that we load on your device. And... Uh, there are actually a few different ones that we just started loading on, so your screen might look a little different from this screen right here. And that's okay. So our first app looks like this. You should have this on your device. It's called Cinema. And the app icon looks just like that. So go ahead and click on it. It's the best for HD movies and TV shows. So upon clicking it, you should see a bunch of movies. You know, these are popular movies right now in theaters or been around for less than a year. And you can go ahead and select any of them if you want. And I'm going to go ahead and select one of these pretty shortly to show you how it works, how to get your movie. At the top, you will see a drop down menu. And you can change the category. Right now it's set on popular, but there's a bunch of categories to select from. You can select any of the ones that you want. So right now I'm going to go ahead and select Avengers Infinity War. It came out few months ago and so all I got to do to play is just hit that play button at the top of the screen. Do you see that play button in the middle? Just go ahead and move your cursor down to it and click on it and your video will play. Perfect HD quality. So I'm going to fast forward to show you that it's the actual movie. There you go. Perfect HD. Now, see that? There is an ad. So to get rid of the ad, just go ahead and press the back button on your remote really fast and you won't see that ad. And for whatever reason, if that stream didn't work, you can always scroll down and select a link from one of these in the stream list. So just, just in case if the stream that you were selecting buffered or was too slow, you can always come down here and select a different stream. It's from a different source and it might be faster for you. So that's what I'm just doing right now. And the movie started playing. All right, so now you're gonna have to back out of that. And in order to get out, you would just hit that back arrow at the top left of your screen. That's how you go back to the category or just press the back button on your remote. So now I'm going to switch to TV shows. You see those three horizontal bars in the top left of your screen? Yeah, go ahead and click on it. 
you can see TV shows right there. And just go ahead and click on that. And that switches the category to TV shows. As you can see, there's a bunch of TV shows. And of course, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick Big Bang Theory. And I'll show you how to play an episode. So it's separated by seasons. So you can see just scrolling down, you'll see a bunch of different seasons. I'm going to go ahead and select one. And now it will load some streams. So give it a few seconds, maybe 30 seconds for it to load different links to play the movie from. And some may be better than others. And I'll show you that in a second. So typically I select one of the first ones. Those are usually the most reliable ones. But for this one, it actually was very slow. As you can see, it's just taking a long time to load and you don't want that. So if you see it just circling like that for a few, you know, 10, 15, 20 seconds, go ahead and press the back button on your remote. You'll get an ad, just keep pressing back and then just click the link right below it and see if that's any faster. It shouldn't take you more than a couple times to find a good working stream. And sure enough, right there, perfect HD quality episode. Very nice. So I'm gonna go back out of that, just hit the back button on your remote. You can see the ad, just press the back button again. And I'm just pressing the back button to get out. And of course you can change the category of TV shows. You've got the drop down. You can switch from popular to any category you want. So now I'm gonna hit search. See that top, uh, the magnifying glass in the top right, I selected it. You can search for any movie or TV show. So right here, I'm going to search for Spider-Man. Your keyboard may look a little different. That's okay. Okay, so I selected Spider-Man. And I'm going to hit that play button in the middle of the screen to play the movie. And sure enough, the movie started playing. And of course, if it buffers or anything, you can always select your streams by scrolling down and clicking on a different link. But usually, you don't have to do that. All right, well, I'm just gonna keep pressing the back button to get back to the original screen. And there you have it for this app. Great app. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold the home button and click on apps. So this next app is called LiveNet TV and its app icon looks just like this. So if you see it, you should click it. It's the best app for live TV. At the top, you can see a bunch of different categories and I'll explain those in a second. But right now, we're gonna select entertainment. And scroll all the way down until you see United States. This is where you can see all the cable channels. As you can see, there's a bunch of channels and they're all good quality HD streams. So I'm gonna select HGTV right here. And it looks like we got them on commercial break. So I just press the back button on my remote and I'll select TBS. Sure enough, nice HD stream. And these are all live channels. So what you see is what's playing on the air right now. This should be your first choice for live TV. Use this app first. So I'm gonna go and press and hold on the big round button on my remote, and that'll allow me to select it, a channel to add it to my favorites. And when I add it to my favorites, on the very left, you see that heart? You can put your channel in the heart category. It makes stuff a little faster to select. So right now I'm selecting news. And I clicked on Fox News. As you can see, there's an ad that just started playing right now. And occasionally there are ads before you can watch your video. And just watch the ad. And then after 30 seconds, it'll go away. And you'll be able to watch your content. So right now, it's just Fox News. And I'm going to go ahead and switch the category to sports. So I went to the top, switch to sports. Now scrolling down, you can see there's a bunch of sport networks. Um, you see ESPN, Fox Sports. So I clicked on ESPN. Looks like we got the US Open playing right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that. Maybe click on Fox Sports 1. Click on the first link it tells me to click on. And there you go. 
Fox Sports one. And once again, if you want to add something to your favorites, just long press on the channel, on the channel icon, and it'll say, would you like to add favorites? And you just press it and select it, and all those favorites will end up in that very left heart corner. So it just makes things a little easier to get to if you watch a certain channel. So this last category is movies, and this is where you get your HBO, Stars, Cinemax, all the paid channels. So I just clicked on Cinemax, and it looks like we got a movie playing right now. Switch it to Stars. It looks like we got another movie. Perfect HD quality stream too. It's amazing what these can get. Now, when you first select on a stream, you're gonna see this where it says choose player. The first time you do this, you will see that message. You can go ahead and click on MX player, like I did. And at the bottom, it'll say always allow this option. Remember this option, go ahead and select that. That's just the first time. This next app is our help app. And this is where you can watch our tutorial video clicking that top button or watch any sports content you want. You got NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL. So go ahead and select the button that you want to watch. Right here I selected on NFL. Now when you first use the app you're going to see this where it says silk browser terms of use. Just go ahead and scroll down and hit accept and then you're going to see this message pop up and just press those three horizontal bars on your remote just to get rid of the message. So I pressed it And then I just press the back arrow to get back into this. You won't see that message again after you went through that once. Now I just scroll down and normally you will see a list of games over here. So say like the Packers versus the Cardinals, you will see like different teams. Right now there are no games playing, but I'm going to select the NFL Network to sh demonstrate what it would look like if there was a team playing. So you just click on the team that you want to watch. It says, um, you know, Patriots versus Jaguars, for instance. Click on that, just like I clicked on NFL Network, and now it's loading. You can ignore that message where it says mobile site at the bottom. And then when you click on that, you will see a link to an HD stream. So go ahead and click on that, and you will be brought to a different page, and you want to press, you know, scroll down to where you see, you know, a giant play button. You're going to want to press that. And beware, it might try to redirect you to a different website. It might try to get you to a different ad. If it says leave page, always say stay here. Don't ever leave the page. And once you get rid of all the ads, your content will start, start playing just like this. And it's perfect HD quality. Yeah, you can get any sporting events. Just follow these steps. So once again, I'm going to repeat the process. I went to the help app. I clicked on the sport that I wanted to watch. So right now I clicked on NFL. Now I got back to this website. When you're here, just scroll down until you see the team or the game that you are wanting to watch. Click on it. Once you click on it, you will be brought to a different page. And you'll have a list of streams, list of links to click from. Click on any of the links, like I did right here. Now scroll down or look on the page for a giant play button. Go ahead and hit that play button. And make sure if it wants you to leave the page, always say stay here. You don't want to leave the page. Always click stay here. And once you do that, your content will start playing. All right. Well. We have a few more applications loaded on the device, but you got the basics down right now. If you rewatch this video, pause it, and start it, you'll learn how to use the device. For these next few minutes, I'm going to be showing how to use Mobdro, another live TV app. This should be your second choice. Its channels are in standard definition. It's not high definition, but it's very reliable. So just in case the live net TV wasn't working, you can use this app for live TV. And then the other app we're going to show how to use is Kodi. We don't recommend using Kodi just because it's a very large application. It's very slow. 
and there's better apps like Cinema and the LiveNet TV that serve its purpose, and it's much faster. But I won't describe how to use it, I'll just have this video on showing what it's like to navigate through the menus. And you can go ahead and watch it if you like, but once again, we don't recommend using Kodi. So just right now, you can watch this tutorial on how to use Mopdro and how to use Kodi. And once again, thanks for listening to this video. Have a good day.